Hello world, it's Hacker Triple Seven, and today I'm doing a cool little software review on a cool program I think a lot of people like called uh, Get Folder Size. It's made by Michael Thummer, Thummer Software Design. He has a lot more other programs on this website too, so I suggest checking them out. A couple of features of this program are it's free for private and commercial use, and it has fast scan algorithm hard drive, junction, symbol links, all that stuff. For system requirements, basically if you're watching this video on a Windows computer, you can use this. Um, it works from Microsoft Windows 2000 and up, so it basically works on almost every single Windows computer. Now the portable version of this does not work with Windows XP or Microsoft Windows 2000 with a service pack installed. So if you have Service Pack 1 or 2, this, the portable version will not work. So basically you'll just have to download the uh, setup version. So if you hit the download section right there, it'll bring you to this page which actually has more download stuff above it and below. Now but right here, we have the Get Folder Size Freeware. Here we have the setup and the portable. The portable edition has about point or uh, 14 megabytes more. So it is about another second of downloading. It takes in total it takes about five seconds to download for me. So either select the uh, uh, setup or the portable. So just go over in uh, either the portable or setup and click on the server one, two, or three. Usually server one is fine. Just uh, click that and then go open with or save or whatever. And in the zip file, it will have one file which is the in the setup or the portable. Now open up the program, so just type in get on your start menu and it should be at the top. Now this program has a pretty clean design. As you see, um, mine is black, but my theme changes a lot of things to the black. So yours might be a different color. Um, so here at the top we have buttons. Um, I've already customized mine so that they're nice and big. Um, yours will probably be a little smaller, but whatever. And here we have, you can actually also put the, the icon size and the junction. You can also put the um, captions underneath. So also, this is what it, this is what it actually looks like right here when you first get it. So here we have the exit button and internet update button which I actually like a lot because it checks for system or uh, program updates with either the up within stable update or the beta. Now I just checked and obviously I just got this program and there's no updates for this program. Now here we can get a little info, um, change the UI language, font size, all that stuff. Now, now this program does scan um, hard drives, flash drives, basically anything that holds data. So folders, uh, network drives, so let's say you own a business or you're actually at work, you can use this program to actually scan the, your, your network drive or whatever you guys hooked, have hooked up to the Wi-Fi there, or internet, sorry, and it will scan that too. So basically you can scan all next to everything, basically everything. Now it does take a while to scan big drives like this right here, where I have 204 gigabytes used. So I'm for this video, I want to scan a folder. So by going up in the up here, it will have by default your your C drive probably scanned. If you actually click this right here, new source folder, you can search your folder yourself and find the folder. Now I already have a folder selected in here. It is my Adobe folder in my documents. It doesn't have a lot of information, but it has a, it has enough files for this video. So once you have it selected, just hit the little play button basically, and it will take a bit, a bit of time to scan it. So in this folder, as you see, I have different folders and files. So if I click the Premiere Pro folder, there's nothing in the root of it, but if I open this, I have 5.0, and I have a couple different files in here. So I have a, a MP4 file that was, last, that was last dated last night, looks like, or sorry, this morning and it was created this time and it has different stuff like that. Now you can also right click it and it will have the same way context menu as normal 
except there are a couple more at top here, which are open file location, which will actually bring you in Windows Explorer to the file location, and move to the recycle bin and stuff like that. Now just like Windows Explorer, you can actually open up the file by double clicking the name. So this is this was just me playing around with Premiere Pro and my intro. So it's nothing much there. Um now like that, so you can also go over and you know select different folders, over, expand them and close them. Now up here we have more options like you know we can have different extent options to show certain things. Um we can hide the file preview. So if I actually have a picture in here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. We have a picture, so now it's gonna preview the picture. Um list split, change font. You can also print the list. Um you can change it to gigabyte or um kilobytes, megabytes, and gigabytes. So this picture is 1.03 and different things like that. So that's about it for this program. I hope you guys like the program. I'll have a link in the description to the website I showed you earlier. And that's about it. So please like, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, private message me or leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments or concerns. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.